Fun fact, nearly 25 million people will be traveling, get this, to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. That was a statistic from last year, so just imagine what it's going to be this year with people uh -huh. getting out and about. Huh. And just outside of D.C. is a crazy number of wineries mm. that is gaining a lot of attention. Mel Camp is on the road, headed to Houston, but before she left, she did a little D.C. wine taste test. Check it out. Kendra, I don't think you're going to have to do a lot of work convincing us to go on a road trip and visit Loudoun County in Virginia and taste wine. How amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Loudoun County is one of the most incredible places to visit. I mean, you from Buffalo, you can get here by train, you can get here by plane or automobile. Pick your pleasure. But when you pull up in Loudoun County, you are going to have a blast. We've been at this thing for 40 years now, earning the reputation of DC's wine country. We've got 45 vineyards, wineries, tasting rooms, so many wonderful things to experience here as well as our breweries, our distilleries, our meaderies. It's so much to see. Uh, Loudoun is truly a one-of-a-kind destination. It looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, you've just got a vineyard behind you. It looks like heaven. You are the founder of 5011, which is the first Black-owned wine label in Loudoun. How did you get into the wine business? How did you get involved? So I started in this venture um, a little while ago through the mentorship and the guidance of one of my great friends, Doug Fabioli. Um, Doug and I collaborated on so many different things, helping the agricultural businesses in Loudoun County to grow and thrive and to do more to build up the hospitality industry, help train and teach people. And it was through that that I first discovered my love of the industry to begin with. But I nerded out at a lot of different networking events and I was paying attention to what people were drinking and whether they were finishing their wines and things. And Doug and I had many conversations about how do we create something that's not only pleasing to the palate, but something that um, even the wine novice could pick up and enjoy at first sip and that was the heart and soul behind the 5011 wine collection. What do you find grows well in Loudoun? What uh, what are the best things to drink when we do come? Because you know we are going to definitely get in our cars and come visit. You have to. It is an absolutely must-do destination for sure. So for me I'm partial to the Chambresin grape. The Chambresin grape grows so well here. It is a unique varietal of grape and I actually made a wine out of it. My Dolce Zaya is a sweetened Chambersen, which is absolutely phenomenal. Great red table wine. It could go um, at a dinner event for folks that like sweet wines or dry wines. Also, the Norton grape is another one that grows really, really well here. Lots of great notes on that one, so you definitely have to check those out. Okay, that's good. We're going to turn up and sound like experts, thanks to you. But what would you say are your best tips as we wrap up for getting on the road, taking a trip to Loudoun? What are your top tips for setting up a trip. Stay open. Definitely check out visitloudon.org to plan your entire itinerary. On that website, you'll see all the phenomenal things to see and do, as well as an amazing calendar of curated events where you can plan your entire itinerary just by looking at that one website, visitloudon.org, uh, to plan your visit. And come by. Mid to late summer is a great time to visit Loudon. So definitely put us on your list of must do things for the summer. Absolutely amazing. I am so <laughs> itching to go on a road trip now. Thank you so much, Kendra, for joining us this morning. Um, thanks for, yeah, twisting our arm. Oh my gosh, we have to come visit you. Please come visit and let me know when you're in town. I'll show you around. Amazing. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to take her up on that. If you'd like to visit, make sure you head over to their website to check out the details. It's visitloudon.org. Or call the number on your screen. We'll be right back.